Okay, Lisbon, the Web Summit. And um, I'm now looking at SendGrid here. Of course, most people know MailChimp, but SendGrid is a good second one, or are they the second one? Or the first one, we have no idea. They send 30 billion emails a month, and Booking.com is using them, or Airbnb, or eBay, they have a couple of good names. What's the difference between SendGrid and MailChimp? Let me ask Ryan. How many people are in SendGrid? 420 full-time staff. Okay, located in? Denver, Colorado. Service from Europe, where? London, UK. Okay, they answer the phone in London so you have a little bit of support. Now, tell me a little bit about, uh, about SendGrid and then we'll go talk about the difference between MailChimp, which I know the best. Absolutely, so SendGrid, like most great startups, was invented through trying to solve a problem. Back in 2009, okay. we had three developers building an app. Yeah. The app emailed people, but the emails weren't getting into the inbox. Yeah. No, so then the whole platform is Correct. built, and you have some nice, good client, Uber, Spotify, eBay, Booking, yeah. and you have 55,000 paying customers. Okay. Now, let that immediately, that, that's normal stuff. Is there anything special about SendGrid? You know, except for the fact that you send out email and give people reporting back to it. Do you have interesting features, new things, which I should be excited about? Well, at this point in time, our bread and butter really is transactional-based email. Yeah. And it's the reputation that we hold with the major mailbox providers to give people the best opportunity to get into the inbox compared to the spam. Yeah, of course. And that is, of course, why you use a, mail, a company like SendGrid or MailChimp so that you don't have to worry about, uh, about that. Um, any interesting uh, other features except that you're reliable and that you work well and sending out transactional email? The ones you get by the hundreds in your mailbox and now gets nicely filtered out by Google most of the time. But, uh, of course, that battle you have uh, continuously. Yes, it's an ongoing process. There's no magic button to get into the inbox. Apart from your transactional emails, we also have a marketing campaign tool. So marketers can actually build the campaigns, edit these templates, run A-B tests on the fly to ensure that they're sending wanted promotional mail. How important is email still? I mean, if you compare it to all the other online uh, medium. How? Well, from a corporate standpoint, I think it's a more formalized way to get a receipt rather than that within your WhatsApp or your Facebook. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but I mean, in terms of marketing emails, trying to, to get you to build, uh, to buy something, which we're all familiar with, is it still a very much alive uh, and kicking platform? I would hope so. Uber, if they're sending hundreds of millions, and so is Booking.com, sending hundreds, if not billions a month, what's we would the, think so. Yeah, but what's the response rate now? What's the open, um, the average open and response rate nowadays? We would say 20% is a good open rate. Yeah, Something and a click ratio of? Oh, it depends on the industry. Don't put me on the spot here. I don't put you on the spot. Now, <laughs> then let's look. I use MailChimp for, for a lot of years, so I have now a list for everything, and I know exactly who are my ambassadors. You there who reads my email and the other who don't, you know, I have about a 30% 30, 30 open ratio and about a 5% click-through. If I would go to SendGrid, what would be the reason to go from MailChimp to SendGrid? In terms of improving those ratios? I don't know. Give me any reason why I should go from MailChimp to SendGrid. Well, we have a team of 30 full-time staff that could work with you to improve that on a consultative method. Uh -huh. So I pay by the hour? Um, I would say 30 days or a year if you want to do a year. Yeah. But what do you mean 30 days or a year? What do you mean? We have two types of engagements. A once-off engagement yeah. or we can have an expert service engagement which lasts a whole year where we look at your go-to market strategy in relation to email yeah. and then give you suggestions on how to approach ah. the market. And how do you price that? We price that per month. And how much is it per month? Uh, starts at 6000 per month and goes as high as 8500 Okay, so for me it's a little... No, Dinky little you newsletter, you know, with 10,000 uh, out there is nothing. Okay, so I'm a very small, you know, uh, trend watcher, and I send out 12, 50,000 emails a month, and yeah. I would go over, uh, I would go over that. What happens to my uh, transactional information? You know, all the information about the people I have in my newsletter, and I know who opens it, and what the average click, and where are my Tesla and, uh, ambassadors, where are my autonomous ride driving ambassadors, where are my crypto people? Yep. Would I lose all that information if I go to you? Well, I would hope that you're able to export that out of your current provider system, 
and then you would be able to easily import that through an Excel or CSV file within hours. With also status information, the amount of people who've opened it, etc., that I can import in your stuff. Uh, if you can export it, you can pretty much import it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but they could advise me on that. But I would have that have that, that six thousand dollar program to get some uh, support. No, not for that. We have twenty four seven support for all of our customers, and that includes uh, email and also live chat. So you don't have to pay six thousand for that. All right. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. They they are. Uh, a, so are you bigger than Mailchimp or are you uh, the same size or? We have over four hundred full time staff, and we have one product, and that's email. Yeah. So um yeah, we're quite big. But he doesn't say they're the biggest. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm going to take a look at this platform, see, do some test uh, campaigns. I think they're a little bit cheaper. I think they're about 30% cheaper than MailChimp, but they don't have automation, so you can have a customer journey, and we'll see how, how that works. Email still very much alive and kicking. I mean, really, um, advertisement in Facebook is get, going up like crazy in video, but the good old email is still coming to your mailbox every day, delivered by guys like SendGrid.